Nahum, chapter 1. God is jealous, and the Lord revenges. The Lord revengeth, and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversary, and he reserves wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebuketh the sea, and make it dry, and dry up all the rivers. Bashan languishes, and Carmel, and the flower of Lebanon languishes. The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence. Yes, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows them that trust in him. But with an overrunning flood he will make an utter end of a place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. Number nine. For while they be folded together as thorns, and while they are drunken as drunkards, they shall be devoured as stubble, fully dry. There is one come out of thee that imagineth evil against the Lord, a wicked counselor. Thus saith the Lord, Though they be quiet, and likewise many, yet thus shall they be cut down, when he shall pass through. Though I have afflicted thee, I will afflict thee no more. Verse 12 For now will I break his yoke from off of thee, and will burst thy bonds in thunder. And the Lord has given a commandment concerning thee, that no more of thy name be sown. Out of the house of thy gods will I cut off the graven image and the molten image. I will make thy grave, for thou art vile. Behold upon the mountains the feet of him that bring up good tidings, that publish peace. O Judah, keep thy solemn feast, perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee. He is utterly cut off. He that dashes in pieces is come up before thy face. Keep the munition, watch the way, make thy loins strong, fortify thy power mightily. For the Lord has turned away the excellency of Jacob, as the excellency of Israel. For the emptiers have emptied them out, and marred their vine branches. The shield of his mighty men is made red. The valiant men are in scarlet. The chariots shall be with flaming torches in the day of his preparation, and the fir trees shall be terribly shaken. The chariots shall rage in the streets. They shall jostle one another against another in the broad ways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like the lightnings. He shall recount his worthies. They shall stumble in their walk. They shall make haste to the wall thereof, and the defense shall be prepared. The gates of the river shall be opened, and the palace shall be dissolved, and Huzzah shall be led away captive. She shall be brought up, and her maids shall lead her as with the voice of doves. 
tapering upon their breast. But Nineveh, Adelis, is of old like a pool of water. Your they shall flee away. Stand, stand, shall they cry, but none shall look back. Take ye the spoil of silver, take the spoil of gold, take the spoil of money, for there is none end of the store and glory out of all the pleasant furniture. Number nine. She is empty and void and waste, and the heart melts, and the knees smite together, and much pain is in all loins, and the faces of them all gather blackness. Where is the dwelling of the lions, and the feeding place of the young lions, where the lion, even the old lion, walked, and the lions wept, and none made them afraid? The lion did tear in pieces enough for his whelps, and strangled for his lioness, and filled his holes with prey, and his dens with raven. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will burn her chariots in the smoke, and the destroying weapons shall devour thy young lions, and I will cut off thy prey from the earth, and the voice of thy messengers shall no more be heard. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Abba, Father.